Hello, gang. Welcome back to Battletech once again. I've got the repairs set in, med bay, all that kind of stuff going on. Fortunately, I have not had the time to play. I wish I did. Um, I'm not doing another five skull. Not right now. Not yet. It's this one. Lost air. Skyhound of the Restoration Mercantile. Concern has been missing for months. We suspect a kidnapping by the pirates, but there's been no ransom demand. A local group of sympathizers on Ryan's fate recently picked up a garbled message. It's kind of indicating she's being held in a pirate facility there. Our intel failed to trace her to Ryan's fate. So any loyal mechs or several jumps away, we need your help to extract her. All right, let's do it. Money's crap, though. But I've got plenty. I've got over a year and a half. So you know what? Let's do good salvage. <clears throat> that looks good. Go. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. I'll cut out everything that's not, you know, something special in route. Hey, boss. We've just completed those upgrades. Like that. Okay, down to engineering. Ship upgrades. I don't have much left. Uh, let's see if I do the med bay. Whoa, that's two and a quarter million. And really, I've, I haven't been using it that much. Get all that done and all that. It's pretty. Two and a quarter million for med bay. Mech bay three. And 50 pounds. No, no. What about these? Oh, there we go. 270,000, 7,700. Do it. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. All right. Let's keep going. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. They suck. They're horrible. I get it. Okay. Over half our finances is payroll. I could probably use it ditch a couple of these guys <laughs> but nah I've been training them up working on them bugger it keep going that work order you submitted is complete excellent let's double check the mech bay make sure everything's good what why is it going to exclamation point Because I didn't put the alarm tin in the left arm. You know what? Let's not. Let's put it in the left torso. I don't have any specials. Okay. So be it. Confirm. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Doesn't the dragon have. Yes. Let's strip that, and on the next transit, we don't have heavy repairs to do once again, I'll equip it into the Highlander. Dragon is really more of a reserve backup at this point anyway. Alright, good. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Alright, let's keep going. I'm not putting it in the Highlander because... Well, we're here. No time. Ah, uh, really? Tying up loose ends. You and Darius are networking in a plant side bar when a familiar voice cuts through the den. An impossible voice. Ranch was a family bodyguard who'd abandoned his post on that fateful night long ago when your family was betrayed. You killed him for it. That's Rance stum stumbling into your table. Hey, sirs. Can you, can you spare any sea bills? I have to get off world. I need to stay deep ahead of the devil. Amused, Darius prompts. Drunk with, what does the devil want with you? Let's see. Kill him where he stands. That is tempting. Scream by introducing yourself. Let the past go. 
Oh, God. Today's social climates and crap. That's probably the good guy choice. The one to go with. Personally, I should kill him where he stands, but he's one step ahead of the devil. Needing to stay one step ahead of the devil. Why kill him when we can let his own... His own issues torture him further until the devil catches him, at least. Let's scare him. Hi, hi Rance. Remember me? Rance squints your outstretched hand, inspecting it for sea bills, and finally shakes it. Rance squints at your outstretched hand, inspecting it for sea bills, then finally shakes it. He winches at your grip tightens. Hello, Rance. Don't you recognize the last heir of House Hel Helfman? His pain turns to panic as he desperately tries to free his hand from yours. Or you can just call me the devil. You finally let him go and he falls to the ground, scrambling backwards on all fours. Darius, meanwhile, is speechless. For a second, unexpected occurrence for the day. <laughs> Rand screams as he flees the tavern, your voice echoing after him. Keep running, coward! I've killed you once. I'll kill you again. No lasting consequences. Oh, but that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. I want to check the hiring hall and store right quick. Oh, there's two Kickstarters in here. Oh, read them at least. That'll make... Rasenki Aramaki was born on a merchant ship to, in the Outworld Alliance to an extended family of tinkers and traders that spent far more time traveling between systems than plant side. He grew up learning almost all the trade associated with spacefaring merchants, but was far better working with his hands than bartering with customers. For many years, he felt he had nothing to complain of as one of the younger members of a very large family. However, as the oldest generation started passing away, and Seki found himself being drawn into the more complicated squabbles of the new generation of leaders. He hadn't minded obeying the dictates of his grandparents and great aunts, but his aunts and uncles would hand him responsibility and then countermand his instructions to his juniors, then berate him when things didn't turn out as they wished. So this is simply not the life he wished to lead. So after much thought, he struggled on his own. He had some trouble finding work outside the connections of his family, at last washed up Solaris 7, where he found it was always working one of the gladiatorial staples. When they put him in a battle mech, he further found they were far easier to pilot than he'd expected. However, he was not of a warrior mindset, and as soon as his contract with the stable was completed, they let him go. Sounds really familiar. Have I read his before? He returned to wandering, however, now he had the skills that were always in demand among mercenary companies of the periphery. While he couldn't shine in the gladiatorial combat, he enjoys working as part of a mercenary lance. He gets instructions, and he works with his mech to accomplish his task. And all is well. Well, for him. Not so much for those he steps on. Waiting for orders! All mech warriors to the habitation ring for a mandatory hygiene check. Repeat, all mech warriors to the habitation ring. She had glitch 2.0 or something. Same voice and catchphrase. Karina Sam, Sam, Spinthia Yvonne Marsen, Skaya, one of the first families of the Federated Sons, had the most ancient and noble of lineages. And, oh, she had a very fine education, the best of weapons and shiniest of buttons. She had the wisest of older sisters and the kindest of younger brothers, yet she was so, so bored. There was so much she could get away with without anybody noticing. So much nobody needed. The work you put in on that drugs control has really paid off. Steering is buttery smooth. So much others were forced to do without. Not that she particularly valued giving away her scores to the poor. Except it did make her laugh to see her least favorite cousin's dress on a grubby nine-year-old. <laughs> One day, though, somebody did notice. Perhaps, perhaps because she'd wanted them to. 
Perhaps she'd gotten more and more brazen, more and more taunting, until they couldn't help but catch her. Red-handed, black-suited. Oh, the look on their faces. Though she was a humiliation, though she was a scandal, she was... still, she was a marzin. She skipped, singing into her exile in the periphery. There she did quite well, quite, quite well, turning her hobby into a career, until one day she opened a vault that was much larger than expected and found her first battle mech. <clears throat> she may have lost it since, to a thief, a thief, a thief she'll find some day, and, but in any case, being a mech warrior for hire is a nice change from the boredom of burglary, for now. She's tempting. It's not like I need more Mac Warriors, but I could afford them. Hello, can we? Thank you. Ugh, darn, I was hoping for... Plus one stability. Let's try five crit. Crit and stability. Ugh. Plus five damage, always nice. Accuracy and crit. I like the damage more, my guys can... My guys can hit the broadside of a bard. Hmm, TTS. Takes a ton, though. Plus one accuracy with ballistics. <sighs> Half million. No. I've heard there's reinforced cockpits that can save a pilot's life when the mech goes boom. I want some of those. Hmm, accuracy and crit. Damage. I'll take that. New weapon systems. Yeah, available. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stability. Crit stability. Hmm. Ah, grab it. New weapon systems available. Oh, we're under 18 months. All right, let's go to the job. Son of a monkey. For some reason it misclicked and I'm adding one to morale, so... Operating costs up a quarter million a month at the moment, so it's only a year's operating expense. We will fix that end of the month, but for now, let's hit the damn mission. It's only a three and a half skull, so... <clears throat> Glitch. You come on up, switch with Decker. Take the other Highlander in. I want to see it field, field tested. Let's see. Yep, drop that, drop that Orion. You know what? Let's grab one of the secondary pilots. Hmm. You know what, Medusa, why don't you come on in? Take Decker's spot. But let's push the Orion down to Behemoth. And you take the Battlemaster. That looks good. That looks good. All right. No, I've still got the Simpson lock. Do this. I guess Medusa is technically not a B string team member, but needs to be built up. Straightforward retrieval, locate the VIP, get to the evac zone. First step find out, find our target in the location, last known signal. Extract safety. Okay. Best of luck, Commander. Thank you. Let's get to fighting. Quick look around. Let's get busy. All right, interesting, gang. It's quite the mountain ridge here, but 
I'm thinking I may have a way up right there. If I can get up here, go up that ridge, I should be able to come right up into here and come up and in. It's a little direct, but may as well try it. Let's do this. It's me. All right, let's go. Coordinates received. Let's yeah, so bring it up. Let's go, go, go. Come on, people. That's going to be tight. It's okay. Medusa, yeah. you take the lead. Got it. I've got an unknown on sensors. Moving to position. They got a medium moving. Really? That's 75. That's another Orion. Because I guess he's such a limited selection of mechs. I'll wait here for now. What do you need? Medusa, please move up. On it. Give me a sensor lock on that target. We'll start raining it over the hill. Sensors locked on. That's a black knight. 65. Probably a thunderbolt. Might be a catapult. Alright, people, let's do this. What's up, boss? Waiting for order. Beemoth, go ahead and take lead. On my way. That's a quick smash and go. Alright, for the next Toronto contract to come available. Light him up. Affirmative. Glitch. Go ahead, move up. Bring that new Highlander up online. And let's use your alarms. 18% chance. Let's go for headshots. Uh huh. Three LRMs. Not one head hit. It's okay. We'll make this work. Engaging target. Five ton friend. No? Orders. We need to push up, take to the side, light him up. Put it all in him. Taking the shot. See, now he's going to get messed up. I 
Love the jump jets on the Highlanders. Time to die! Down you go. Here, another 65 coming in. Receiving you. Position confirmed. Let's move it on up. What we got? Oh, that's a catapult. K2. I do so apologize. I need to finish right playing with your friend first. He's down. Hostile eliminated. K2's mine to start with. Do it. Hi. Light him up. Engaging target. Thunderbolt. Okay. Roger that. Ground in and up. Oh no. We'll, we'll go ahead and engage the catapult. All weapons are go. Maybe I shouldn't have. There we come. Arms about to come open. Losing lots of armor. Waiting for orders. That's where we. No, 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 we come. Up first, thank you. On my way. Then we light it up. Actually, we're gonna go for another one of those cockpit hits. Even if it doesn't work, it's worth What's a try. More? Oh yeah, there we go. Engaging jump jets. Come on, really? At least get knocked down, sucker. Yeah, light it all up. Three and a half are looking definitely below my Good to go. level of operation. Uh. Position. 
position confirmed. <clears throat> but fives, especially with no way to exit other than to you know, just surrender and get out. Ah, oh, dang it. Did not watch my heat properly. Eh, light him up. Gage. Reporting critical hit. Torso down. Ow. Ow. I'm hit. Armor breach. Internal damage. What? Yes, Where? Uh... Acknowledged. There we go. Multiple enemies locked in. Missed at that range. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, let's move up. Let me go ahead and do that one. Go. Oh, her heat is so bad. Light him up. Light him up and I'll shoot him down, Commander. Yeah, crazy. And he should be basically disarmed. Yeah, he's got nothing left. I gotta jump. Multi shot. A B close him. Turn all that on the Thunderbolt. One missile to that catapult CT and it's gone. Engaging multiple targets. There we go. I'm here. Alright. I do so, let's move it on up. Thunderbolt, you are the last one standing. Congratulations. Man, so I'll use that. Light him up. Bolt. Damn it. 
receiving you. Moving out. Can now. There we go. What can I do for you? Jump. Time to fly. All right, lasers off. Twenty off. And off, just the cannon, if you please. Special delivery. There we go. Up around the side. <clears throat> Give him a hello. Yeah. Engaging target. Enemy mech. I didn't think I had any missiles on. Oh well. Darn it. Copy that. How are you, T Bolt? What's your plans for the day? Run over there and take cover. Standing Not by. A bad plan. Hit. Part of me just wants to get eyes on that little base down there and see if I can't. Good to go. Why can't I shoot it up? Skull, maybe four and a half missions. You know what I mean? melee and cool down. Time to get physical. Oh, rip out the fusion core. Target eliminated. Excellent. Moving out. 
on my way. Affirmative. Let's go. I took the high salvage on this. Oh well. Donate. In the area, the last known signal. Hold position and give the VIP a chance to board one of the mechs. Roger that. Moving out. Anybody reading anything else? We have the asset, Commander. Kind of the air's been cleared. Darth's giving me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. There's a massive difference between a three and a half skull and a five skull. But, mission complete. Basics, I wouldn't even be using this for a vid if it wasn't for the fact that I just haven't had the time to game enough to get to the next storyline piece. All right, let's add a K2. Which I love that mech, by the way. I've yet to be able to recover, find and acquire one you know, physically. For my tabletop collection. Ooh, it's two tons though. I'll still take it. It's a specialized thingy. Uh, let's work on the Black Knight. What the heck? Alright. Got all the mech parts. Okay, I'll take them. There we go. Finally, later Rano's contract to liberate House Parada and deal with Espinosa's dropship fleet is ready for you in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Mm. That work order you submitted is complete. Outstanding. All right. Ooh, that filled my last slot. Let's get the Orion up and running. Get it mended. Right. All right. I'll get it in the schedule. I love K2s, but I mean, I'm never going to use the thing. I mean, think about it. All right, I need to clear some mech bay space. Let's be honest, am I gonna take the Jaeger back out again? I've got two Highlanders, a Battlemaster, two Orions, a Thunderbolt. The Jaeger's just not going out anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll probably take the catapult before I take the Ye Jaeger out again. I'm not going to take the catapult either. I should keep two lances, but... Honestly, okay, the dragon... It's not going to be going. It's off the line. And I only get the fire star just in case of, you know, an emergency. Jaeger, my first heavy. Ah. Send it to the mothballs. Heat levels and everything on this. Although I can save four tons by switching over to large lasers. Ditch the machine guns in there, I'm completely... 
four, five, six tons. I'd actually be able to make it a good, good fighter. But I don't know that I'll need it, so. Well, I love the mech. I'd love to add one to my tabletop forces. Send it to the off balls. A shadow hawk. Just in case I need high mobility. That's what I keep the fire sword around for. Ah, send the Shadow Hawk down. There, yeah, okay, I've got eight mechs. Two lances, just in case. Alright, with that, next episode we review the new contract and move on with the storyline. So, leave me your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like or dislike, subscribe if you haven't already the notification bell so you two will care enough to tell you when I put out new stuff if you have but honestly more important than any of that if there was someone or something out there that matters who matter to you whether it's up and out face to face with other people or if it's from behind the relative safety of your keyboard or just picking up the phone get involved and make a difference but take care keep yourself safe because I want to see you next time. And for now, I am the Articulate Grunt, and I am out from here, so bye.